the largest active volcano on the Earth. Well, ominous glowing has been observed along the horizon as the Mauna Loa volcano erupts on Hawaii's big island. Now, the volcano's lava is currently contained, but the question is what will happen if it does flow downhill? National Weather Service senior forecaster John Gelsima joins us now from Honolulu. First of all, thank you. Uh, it's 4.30 in the morning, but I know the Weather Service, you guys work even these overnight shifts. And this is really interesting. I didn't realize that this hasn't happened since 1984. I guess in my mind, I always thought about Mauna Loa as a very active volcano, but the last eruption was back in the 80s. Yeah, that's correct. We have had other eruptions in the Kilauea caldera, but this is the first time in the last 38 years that the Mauna Loa summit has erupted. And talk a little bit about the geography and the terminology that you're using. Now, a lot of this lava is contained within almost like a cauldron-like feature, but how do we get from that step to actually having lava flows that we're concerned about people's safety and structures? Sure. Well, that's quite a concern because once it fills up that caldera up on top of Mauna Loa, it'll spill over the side. And this lava is quick moving lava that can reach the coastline in two hours. So you can imagine how wow. dangerous a situation that is for the communities that are down slope. Absolutely. I mean, two hours, that's not a lot of time. So for people that are there, either visiting or they happen to be residents of the big island, what is the, the feel? I mean, how do you even approach this scenario that you know that if it tops over, you only have two hours to get out of the way? Well, first and foremost, you just need to follow the directions by the emergency management personnel that are actively monitoring the situation to make sure that they keep everyone safe. And I know in other scenarios with different volcanoes across the world, sometimes that plume of ash and all that soot that is coming off of this volcano, you know, it goes really high up into the atmosphere and it has impacted flights. Is that possible to happen over the Hawaiian Islands because of what's happening with Mauna Loa? Sure. Well, actually, last night, the plume ended up reaching a height of about 45,000 feet. So here in our office, we ended, ended up issuing significant weather advisories for ash so that the uh, FAA could avoid those areas and keep the plane safe. Mm, and that ash advisory is still in effect this morning. National Weather Service senior forecaster John Jelsima, thank you so much for your time. We'll check in with you throughout this process, but definitely very active conditions on the big island of Hawaii. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.